Hello everybody, this is episode 29 of my Hollow Knight Let's Talk lore series. It is March 21st, 2021 at 11.34pm, and I hope you are having a fantastic time whenever you find yourself watching this. So, we have just acquired the King's Soul. Let's go ahead and uh, get this thing equipped, huh? Beep, 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 beep. Let's take off Deep Focus and Grub Song, and let's put on the King's Soul. Now. We are supposed to be going to the place of our birth, but before we do that, I kind of want to see what the pale lady has to say, because surely, um, if she sees that we have the soul of her late husband, she should have something to say about it, if I had to guess, right? I should certainly hope so. I'm going to be actually really disappointed if she doesn't. Also, uh, I just got done recording a bunch of Doom content. Um, it was the one in which I fought, like, the gladiator, and oh, I was just, uh... Getting a bit burnt out of fighting demons. I was like, okay, it's just, uh, I just wanted to do something a bit more calm. And what is more calm than trying to prevent the destruction of an entire civilization through infection? Damn it. Certainly not Queen's Gardens. Because this map is thorny. Also, um, in between episodes, I've been playing a, oh, fuck, I've been playing a game called, uh, Friday Night Funkin', and, oh, man, it's just got some good music. I, uh, I heard about the game thanks to, um, Rashad E.B., he's a guy who does metal covers of songs, and he was doing a cover of a song called Milf, um, which was, you know, okay. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? Pretty sure. Yeah, 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 this is where I want to go. But uh, he was doing a cover of that song, and I was like, yeah, this is pretty good. I'll go ahead and check out the game. Turns out it is free, also. Rip, her spirit is no longer here. She has ascended to go be with Nola, I want to say, was her uh, her loved one. But yeah, I got that game uh, and started playing it on the PC because it's free, and it's a Flash game, so it can run on every PC, and oh man, it is so fun. It really is. Highly recommend it if you guys uh, haven't played it yet. Anyhow, let's see what the white lady has to say. Any new dream nail dialogue? Nope. Okay, uh, please have something new to say now that I have the king's soul. Please? Do I seem prisoner here? If so, it is not by any choice but my own. These bindings about me, I've chosen to erect. That's interesting. So, once she was free, but now she's deciding to stay here by herself. There is some shame I feel for my part in the deed, and this method guarantees its cease. What part in the deed does she mean? I still feel the urge you see, I always will, a voracious desire to spread seeds across the land, to propagate myself, to breed. Ah, so it bears our once fractured soul now complete, here we go. Such strength, such resolve, such dedication. It is more than simply a ve- or is it more than simply a vessel? I almost feel like I'm once again in the presence of my beloved worm, the king soul. What is at the heart of it, I wonder? If its curiosity wills it, it should seek out that place. That place where it was born, where it died, where it began. Okay. So two things. One, she has decided to stay here by herself. Like she, um, she is, oh, hold on. I think I can't uh, teleport here. But she's decided to stay here because she doesn't want to leave. And she wants to, she still has a, a, a want to spread her seed, as she says. Um. Which I think were those white particles that we saw all over the place. And we can even see in the foreground here. Um, but no, she's decided to stay here because she regrets the actions that she's done with the king. Uh, supposedly, that would be to um, create the vessels, right? Um, not only that, though, but she um, actively tells us that if we have a curiosity that we should seek out the our birthplace, which is where we're heading. Obviously, it's it's a huge place we need to get to, but um, yeah, she knows she knows that there's gonna be something that's gonna happen if we go here with the king's soul, which is exactly what we're going there. But what will we find though? I wonder. But I guess that's uh that's her hinting at that she knows more about the knight than she's letting on. Let's see what's down here. Down in the abyss. 
No spikes? No spikes. Whew. Hey, watch it. That was kind of rude. Also, the King Soul, um, if you look on the far left corner, you can see that my soul vessel is slowly, very slowly increasing. And the King Soul has an unlimited amount of soul. Aha! Let's go down. Also, actually, before we go down, there was something here that said it wanted to, to hear a scream. It wanted to hear our voice. And in our inventory, we just so happen to have the Howling Wraiths, a, uh, a scream-like ability. So let's put two and two together. Perhaps we need to do it here. What did you guys want? Our voices will cry out again. But like this? Boom. No learning from a snail shaman at all. We are going to acquire this ability from this ancient civilization. Although, we consumed the Abyss Shriek. What is, uh, what is the thing I'll say on this? I'm very, very, very curious, actually. Abyss Shriek, the Wraiths require soul to be conjured. Strike enemy to gather soul. So, these shells almost remind me of the charms that we have from the Snail Shamans. This, um, the spiral-like pattern that we see. Hmm. Maybe, but the eyes, the eyes don't really lend to that, does it? Eh, maybe not. I really want to know what's up with the snails. I would love to know more about them. Because they seem so interesting. They have such an acute awareness of the both the soul and abyss magic. Or void, I should say. Ooh. Look at just how many more siblings are here. Yikes. Look at all of them. So many. So many dead vessels. Oh, oh, excuse me. Perhaps this is what it is that they regret. Killing so many. Or maybe not even killing them, just having so many be killed. Having them all die down here in the abyss at the bottom of the world, where presumably nobody will be able to find them except for the king. Because remember, this place has been sealed off with the king's or the king's brand, so only the king could come back here. So literally, this entire place would just be forgotten. Dang! And look at this: an egg. A cracked open egg made of a black substance that we can see ourselves through. Okay. Cool. What do you think you have to do here? Well, got dream nail it. No cost too great. Oh, I have to press X. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, this is a longer animation. what's going on here Look at all these siblings us included and they're all falling down oops sorry no mind to think No will to break. No voice to cry suffering. Born of God and Void. Oh 
comes to the top. And what will we see up here? You shall seal the blinding light that plagues their dreams. You are the vessel. You are the hollow knight. Boom. Collected the void heart. And we awake to no longer see our reflection. Wow. An emptiness that was hidden within, now unconstrained, unifies the void under the bearer's will. This charm is part of its bearer and cannot be unequipped. So wow, wow, wow. That was a lot, huh? Now look. The void is now under our control. The siblings no longer bear any ill will towards us and won't even deal any damage if we walk directly into them. So, what happened there? What was it? Um, no will to break, no mind to think, no voice to cry suffering. What does all of that mean? Well, we have said before that our night is empty, is the way that Hornet describes us. We don't ever react to anything. However, the, the broken vessel that we saw in um, the ancient basin, whenever it died, it reached out towards us. Whenever the Hollow Knight, who, yes, that is who was up there, by the way, that was the, the Hollow Knight who had just ascended, as the, the Lord Tablet states. Our, our vessel has ascended. Um, no longer shall we go to this place. Blah, 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 blah. You already know what it is. But we saw the, the Hollow Knight up there being taken by the Pale King. And it was the Pale King who was talking. That's the voice that we heard, I'm near certain. Um, and so he made these vessels hoping that they would be purely hollow. The Hollow Knight, right? Uh, a, a being with nothing. Just completely empty. And... The very, very interesting thing about it is he says that it will be free of the infection that plagues their dreams. Now, we have talked about dreams a lot in this series and just how important they are. Um, you know, the the spiraling wisps, I think is what they're called, the whispering roots. Um, they contain the essence or the dreams of everyone around them. And then, of course, we have, um, you know, people's souls are made out of essence, which is what we see in their dreams. And all of these things, it, dreams are just incredibly important. And yet, the Pale King says that the infection plagues their dreams. The the brilliant light, this, this radiant light, this radiant being, it infects and plagues people's dreams. Now, what does that mean? Well... The way that this infection works, based on what we just learned, is it comes to people in their dreams. And if they have a will to break, a voice to cry suffering, um, or no, a mind to think, then it can nest itself within their thoughts, within their dreams, and they will continue to remember this radiant being. However, they already have thoughts of their own. They already have minds, thanks to the Pale King. And as such, they don't want this new being. They don't want this new higher being within them. They already have the Pale King. And so they res suppress it. They resist it. But nature suppressed results in the infection. It plagues them. As we learned from the... Um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu, the Mossy Prophet, I believe is what her name was. Um... And so, we've now learned how the how the plague gets people. It's not necessarily an airborne plague, like what we were led to believe before. Or maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe that's how it gets to you, and then you dream about it. But how would it have started in the first place? Well, let's think back to this radiant being. 
where have we seen it? Up here at Hallowness Crown. The seers said that they sealed this away in their, their thoughts. They stopped thinking about it to make it not exist. Because if they don't think about it, it can't invade their dreams anymore. They, if they don't think about it, if they don't even remember it, how could they dream about it? But there was a statue up here, up at the top of Hallow Nest. And surely as um, the Pale King's Empire began and they decided that they wanted to mine these crystals... Somebody must have found this statue. And upon doing that, the thought of this radiant being, the idea, pervaded in their mind. They began to think about it, and at that point, it came into their dreams and started talking to them. Um, if we look back at the Hunter's Journal, talking about the um, b -b 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 Traitor Lord... I have felt that desire, the desire to take the infection into myself, to become stronger, more powerful. Here's the important bit. These thoughts haunt my dreams during the darkest times. While he dreams, he thinks about taking the infection within himself. He thinks about the infection, about this, this power in his dreams. Let's also look at the description for Grimm. Through dream I travel, at Lantern's Call, to consume the flames of a kingdom's fall, Blah, blah, blah. But the important bit is the dreams. These higher beings, they are tied to dreams. We have Un, who literally dreamed up all of Green Path and presumably Fungal Waste and Queen's Garden, literally just through the sheer force of her dreams. These are powerful, powerful concepts. And we have a god living in them. Or a higher being, I should say. They're not necessarily gods, I guess. But they, they're, they basically are, right? Um, and man, it's just like... I, I really wonder. I wonder what the catalyst was for that first infection. I think, uh, based on all of the information that we have right now, I think it has to be that somebody made it up to Hallowness Crown. Oh, look at that. That looks silly. But I think that somebody made it up to Hallowness Crown and found that statue of the Radiant Being and then dreamt about it. Now, why, why would people not want this radiant being with them? Well, if they no longer are under the influence of the Pale King, the Pale King is a beacon, right? And he gives people minds of their own. He gives them free will. But if you take that away, if you leave the, the um, influence of the Pale King, you lose your mind, you lose your memories, and you lose your free will. Or, if you get infected, and the Pale King is pushed out of your mind, not only do you lose your mind, but you begin to attack those around you. You become almost a zombie, and even after you die, you come back to life as a zombie. And it's a horrible, horrible existence to live, and so obviously you would want to suppress that, you would want to retain your free will. But this radiant being, just like the Pale King, does not want any other higher beings other than itself. It wants to be the only thing that is worshipped. Oh. <sighs> That's a lot, huh? That's a lot. But we're not done yet. There's still much more to discover. Um, so let me go ahead and go back to the Ancient Basin because I want to begin to explore the rest of Kingdom's Edge. Um, there's still quite a lot there that we haven't done. And there are some important characters that we need to meet here. So, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're back. I know that was all a lot to take in. A lot of lore, but wow. We were abandoned by both the Pale King and our own sibling, the Hollow Knight. He looked back at us, and that is very important. The vessel, the broken vessel, whenever it died, it reached out for help. Implying that it would expect us to help it. Uh, as if it was like a having a sense of like camaraderie with us you know it saw us as a brother meaning that it had to have had some sort of mind it had to have some sort of it, it had to think right in order to think that we would be able to help it out obviously the um the hollow knight it looks back at us maybe maybe it's just looking to, you know be like hey what's that noise but it kind of stared at us for a second and then turned away, implying that it was 
abandoning us as if it thought that it might be better than us because it's been chosen by the king surely it's the best it is the the, the ascended vessel and well turns out um maybe not everything is so great is it so where are all these beasts coming from i i'm taking a lot of damage sorry <laughs> hold on hold on i need to heal up that's a that's a lot of bees huh Probably from this broken wall, right? If I can get it open. Oh my god. There we go. Hey, what's in here? This is... The Hive. Hey, you. Ouch. Uh, okay. Just regular dialogue, I guess. So we've seen some sealed, um, some sealed civilizations before, like the Mantis Village, but these guys, they have that very well-known orange glow to them. Do I not have Gathering Swarm on? Oh, I don't have any charms on. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll have to put that on in a bitch. Um, but these guys are infected, we can tell. Cowardly Husk, its body colonized by Hivelings. Ah, that's scary. But these guys, they have the orange infection within them. So, unlike the mantises, these guys were not so lucky to avoid the the radiant being's infection. And there are a lot of them. I like this music. It sounds, um weirdly somber I like I love the aesthetic of this area though it's so cool looking with all the um oh hold on these guys are actually pretty scary look at that it's Beedrill the Pokemon uh what's it say hive soldier defends the hive against intruders with ex extendable stinger so you have it has an extendable stinker. And here we have a bench that's just been encapsulated in honey. I love it. It's so cute. Right, let's get our charms on. Boom. Boom. And, um, I have three more slots. What do I want? Oh, oh, obvious. I want fragile greed, of course. I'm breakable greed, I mean. And, um, let's go sports room. Why not? Okay, okay. But yeah, I like this area a lot. I think it's really cute. Because one, you know, bumblebees, right? Bumblebees are great. But two, whoa! Just the way it looks. I, I think it's such a good looking area. From both the colors, all of the honeycombs, and the, uh, the... Just being able to see so much around here. It all looks really cool. I love it. I love the whole aesthetic of this area. Give me info. Sweet, sweet, sweet! <laughs> I guess. Sweet, sweet, honey. Oops. Boom. Uh, hold on. Weak, but hardworking and numerous, their hairy little bodies are filled with a, th a thick, sweet, golden liquid. Good to keep a few on you for long hunts. Oh. Oh, so the hunter literally just keeps honeybees with him? That's funny. Uh, all right, time to speed up. Oh. Ow. Oh, that's all of them. Okay. Um, all right, let me take out this bee really quickly and we can jump down to see what the whispering root has to say. And this is some very important information. Hardened tribe, okay. Light familiar. So what does that mean, light familiar? Well, if we think back to what the mossy prophet had to say about a union within the infection. And this, it says that the light is familiar. Now, what could that mean? 
we have the Mossy Prophet talking about a great union. Uh, I wish I had the exact quote up right now. I'm sure I will be showing it in editing. We have it talking about a union within the Radiant, uh, or within the Infection. And then we have these guys talking about how the Infection or the Light feels familiar to what they're used to. Let's think about, oh, wow, look at all those essence. Let's think about what the name of the area we are in is called, the Hive. Hmm. Oh, excuse me, B. Excuse me again. These, uh, these big bees, they are capable of destroying the environment around you, which is very handy if you are needing to get through. <gasps> it's very handy if you're needing to get through a big wall, but not so handy if you're just trying your best to survive. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. There we go, okay. Uh, hive Guardian protects the hive by hurling hurling its huge body at intruders. Okay, good to know. Uh, do we have a map for this? I guess we do, yeah. It is only considered to be um, a section of... Um, oh, what am I trying to say? It's just a part of Kingdom's Edge. It's not its own big section. Uh, do we want to go left or up? I guess we'll go left first. Oh yeah, here we go. So now we're back in Kingdom's Edge, and there you go. Just another entrance, I guess. Cool. We'll be back here later. Alright, alright. So yeah, those uh those guardians, they will break into um, walls if they are fragile. And I'm pretty sure there's like one or two secrets that you have to get them to break into. Oh, come on, buddy. That was kind of rude. Beep up, beep up, boom, beep up. Where you at, buddy? There you are. Come here. He's dead. Okay. Cool beans. I'd like to be able to get this area finished before the end of the episode, but I'm already at 30 minutes, so uh, it may have to be a two-parter. We'll see. We'll see. I might just uh, make this into like a 50-minute video or something. I have been... I have been having a bit longer episodes here recently. heal up really quickly. Please don't hurt me, Guardian. Please be gentle. Thank you. Alright. I don't want to kill you just yet, Guardian. I want to make sure there's no breakable walls that I need you to destroy. I know that there's one secret, because I remember for my first playthrough, I was stuck here for ages, but it doesn't look like it's here. So I think we're good. Ow. Can't quit that, buddy. <laughs> uh, let's go left. I'm feeling a hard left from here. Was it worth it? Oh, we got some Geo. That's always worth it. Anything else? Nope. But we do see a path, so I guess we will be going back there later. Okay. Let's keep going. Ow. Look at all that essence we're getting. That's pretty handy. More Geo. Don't mind if I do. Right, I think it's um I think it's up here, actually, where that uh, brick wall is. Think, I could be mistaken. Hmm, maybe I am. All 
I'm sure I will see it right as soon as, uh, or I'll recognize it right as soon as I get to it. Whew. Ow. Can I heal up? Well, this isn't where I want to be. Oops. Bye. Mask. Nice. I have to be careful here. I am getting hit quite a bit by these bees. Let's go this way. I hope we can find a bench soon. Or maybe a checkpoint. Is that what I just got? Nice. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Oh, hey, we're here now. Hey, Big B, are you, uh, are you the queen, maybe? Nope. Okay. Huzzah, how cute. Whoa, hey, you mind watching out? Ow! Ow! Hey, pal! I'm backing off for a bit. Ow. Whew. Can I heal? Twice? Nice. Whoa! Gotcha. Heal up real quick. Thanks. Are you watching? Who? Ouch. Ouch. Can I heal? Ah, it wasn't worth it. Ow. Oof. Let me heal up real quick. Okay, be careful of all these bees. Nice. See ya. Huzzah! Guess who's talking to that girl over there? The queen. See ya. And let's get the treasure, the hive blood. What is this? Da -da 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 -dum. Hive blood, golden nugget of the hive's precious hardened nectar, heals the bearer's wounds over time, allowing them to regain health without focusing soul. Now that is huge. Being able to heal your shell without needing to use any soul? That seems pretty strong, right? My knight. Are you at last freed? This is the Hive Queen, Vesba. Small thing, I know your kind. If you attempt to resolve your past, then know I am not the queen you seek. It is the pale beings that bear blame for your nature. Though this hive exists within Halloness, we play no part in its attempt at per er, perpetuation. Meaning that she doesn't play any attempt at the perpetuation of Halloness. She doesn't care about what's going on in the rest of Halloness. To rail against nature is folly. All things must accept an end. And the um, the mask maker, he said that the worms, um, the worms, uh, what was it? The worms, something, whatever, was uh, stasis, right? He said that the the power of void can oppose time. It can make Hallownest last eternal. 
but what Vesma is saying is that all things must accept an end. To rail against nature is folly. To suppress nature results in infection. Well, um, what happens if I gmail you? See ya! I had no idea that was gonna happen. Wow, it's crazy. It's like every single time you gmail a ghost, they just die. Yeah, crazy how that works. Right! Okay, so that was the hive. Pretty fun area. Also, uh, I think this right here was the breakable wall, and I think one of these uh, one of these hive guardians just bumped into it by chance while it was bumbling around. Bumbling! Ha ha! Ah! Ha ha! Get it? Because they're bumblebees. There was still one area uh, that we couldn't get to, but we had to get to it from above, so I don't know how we're supposed to do that normally. Maybe there is another entrance that we just don't know about? Could be. I do want to rest at this bench very quickly, though. See a whispering root. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Nice! Okay, um, I think this is as good of a place as any to stop. We have learned quite a bit about the lore of what was going on. You know, we learned about our very, very, very tragic uh, inception and how we were completely discarded because we weren't as great as the Hollow Knights. Um, after that, we then learned about what happened to the Hive and potentially what it means to be infected. And by that, I mean what it means to relinquish your mind. But I'm sure we will learn more about that in the future. Either way, though, I think that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed. This has been a pleasure to record. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.